In this project, you will create a landscape inspired by Robin Mead's artwork. You can see her work here with flowers and blue running rivers, hills, and a warm colored sky. First, you're going to start by drawing flowers on the bottom of your paper with a pencil. We use pencil so that if we make a mistake, we can erase. Draw a circle first and then add your petals around the circle. Some of these petals can overlap. Some can even go off of the page. Here I drew a half circle in a really big flower. Remember that your flowers can be different sizes. Some can be big and others can be small. Next, you're gonna draw waves with a straight line that spirals at the top. So straight line up from the flowers with a spiral. Then connect that spiral back down to the flowers and add wavy lines to look like water. Then draw three overlapping hills with designs. Those designs could be simple lines, dots, X's, anything like that. Then draw an arch for the sun and rays coming out that go off of the paper in every direction. Notice that my sun is over to the left. Trace every line with your Sharpie. Using a Sharpie, we draw very lightly to keep the Sharpie looking like it's wearing a hat, nice and pointy on the end. Add designs to your flowers, your hills, and your rays. Feel free to use the same ones that I use, or you can get some more ideas from the papers on your tables. They have lots of different designs using shapes and lines. Even go over the lines for your sun and its rays. And again, add some of those decorations or patterns inside of the sun rays. Zigzag lines. Polka dots. Straight repeated lines. And anything else that you might think of. Then look at your artwork and see if you can add any other details, patterns, or decorations in other parts to make it look finished. Then use warm colors in your sky with watercolors. Your sky will end up looking something like this. I start with yellow and fill in the sun. In between colors, make sure that you wash your brush. Go all the way off of the paper and be sure to fill in all of the white space. Remember, warm colors are yellows, oranges, reds, or pinks. They remind us of fire. Next, you're going to fill in the hills using different greens light or dark. Each hill should be a different green shade or value. You can always add water to your color to make it lighter. Then fill the ocean with blues and purples. I'm very careful when painting the ocean because I don't want to get blue inside of my flowers. So I use the tip of my brush when I'm painting around the flowers, standing it up on its tippy toes 
and I slow down when I'm painting around objects. Tippy toes, slowing down. I use my darker blue on the waves so that they stand out from the rest of the water. And if you want to add more decoration, you could go back over those wavy lines with that darker blue as well. Then on your flowers, you're using warm colors again. Yellows, oranges, reds, pinks. Again, we're detail painting, so we use our brush on its tippy toes. Carefully filling in each petal. Notice how the colors in my sky match the colors I'm using again at the bottom for my flowers. And then it's all done.